Metro Parks were actually started in 1928, um, and we were started by an act of uh, the probate uh, court. So Lucas County Judge declared us a separate political entity with the ability to basically acquire and um, restore and protect our natural resources in Lucas County. Um, since then, we've grown exponentially, really. It's been a lot of fun, um, especially since 2015, we've seen a large growth. But currently, right now, we have about 18 parks or areas that are open, um, and this year we'll be opening two more. Um, with the opening of our last two parks, Manhattan Marsh and Glass City, we'll actually be fulfilling a promise that we've been working on for quite some time, which is to have a, a park within five miles of every Lucas County resident. Um, one of the wonderful things that we do is we protect and conserve some of the most um, different habitats that you're going to see in this area. So we have the globally rare oak openings region, um, we have wetlands that we help protect, um, we have prairies, savannas, all sorts of really awesome natural resources. When we acquire the land, we have a natural resource department. And the natural resource department um, goes out and they evaluate our natural resources that we just acquired. And with that in mind, we're then able to open up parks um, and provide not only access to these wonderful natural resources, but we're also able to provide sustainable amenities in those park facilities that really help people connect to nature. Um, so one of the things that we look at doing through our programs, through our acquisition policies through our natural resource management is making sure that as we connect people to parks and parks to parks that we are actually also being sustainable um, in that regard and getting people to really enjoy the resources that we steward safely and so that everybody moving forward can actually continue to enjoy those resources. We want to connect parks to parks, but people to parks as well. And in order to have that connectivity, we want every every citizen in Lucas County to be able to easily reach a metro park. You can come to the park, you can walk, you can jog, you can run, you can kayak. There's so many individual programs that you can do on your own. We always tell people the first step to enjoying a metro park is just coming on down. Come visit us, come pick a trail, come walk your dog, whatever it is. But the second way to really enjoy a metro park is to get involved with a metro park. And you can do that through programming. And we offer all kinds of programming for everybody. Our programs are inclusive, they are safe, they are fun. Um, and we have them that start at a beginner level. So if you have never been on a stand-up paddleboard before, come on, we got you, we'll make you feel safe. We are definitely concerned about safety, we're concerned about having a good time, but we're also concerned about educating you on the resources. And so those are the three things that we really stand for in our programs is safety, education and making sure that you really have that emotional connection to it um, and we do that by a myriad of different programs that we provide and so you can choose if you've never gone on a nature walk we have nature walks if you've never climbed a tree before we have tree climbing um, and all of the reason all of the things that we do actually provide you with your first introduction to using a park in a different way and then we have services then that will take you through more in-depth programming if you'd like it and the reason we do that is because we find that people really love what they experience and they protect what they love and so we really want to continue to make sure that folks are interested in stewarding our resources and protecting this for future generations regardless of uh, stand-up paddle boarding whether it's tree climbing whether it's forest therapy the biggest thing that we stress is actually conservation during those programs and so we talk about how to safely recreate um, that's physical safety but it's also safety for the natural resources and so um, even when you're mountain biking in the oak openings region we are still teaching you how to do that safely so that you are not um, impacting the environment negatively, but you are enjoying it. And if you impact it negatively, but you enjoy that sport, guess what? It's not going to be there forever. And so we try to make sure that we focus on the message of education and how to safely continue to use our resources to enjoy the sports that you do by helping reinforce that what you do has an impact on the resources that you love and you use um, are 
our programming is really aimed at our conservation and restoration messaging, um, but it does bring it to a much more personal level of what's in it for me. What's in it for you is keeping these open spaces clean, safe, and natural so you and your families moving forward can always enjoy them. We have about six million annual visitors that come through the parks each year. And if you think about that, that number is astounding, um, especially when we're able to continue to keep the resources clean, safe, and natural. And so we really do think our message is getting out there when you have six million people visit, um, but we're always interested in having new folks come and enjoy the parks, especially when you've got um, situations that arise, like we just went through this pandemic. And so so with Metro Parks, it did give you a clean, safe space to come out and enjoy, especially in the summer. During COVID, people really needed a place to get out and Metro Parks stayed open. Um, we really welcomed folks into our space as long as they recreated safely. And so we were here um, as a stress reduction. We were here as a place for you to still picnic, to still spend time with your families. Um, and so our, our mission is really to connect people to the land so that they get the benefits from even just being outside, let alone the economic benefits of things um, pre-COVID. Obviously, you've got the biggest week in birding. Um, that sees hundreds of thousands of people come through. Well, they come through because our parks are great migratory pathways that provide um, food, provide stopovers for these warblers and these other migrating birds that come through. And so the benefits are just, it's really limitless and it's up to the imagination how you choose to use it. The benefits of parks are, are really starting to really be studied on an emotional level, but also on a health level um, and on just um, a spiritual level as well. And so what we're seeing is that one of the key functions that parks do is they really give a sense of wellness. And in, in the world that is so busy and so filled with stress and so now, 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 um, parks really help ground people back into a sense of calm, a little bit of stress reduction, um, especially at Metro Parks, one of the things that we're really trying to connect to is the wellness initiatives um, that are taking place now. And so if you look at it, we had um, the Trust for Public Lands did an economic benefit study for us. And one of the things that they actually discussed was the reduction in healthcare costs associated with being near and in a park. Um, so for an adult, under 65, it's actually almost $1,200. For an adult 65 or over, it's almost $2,400 reduction in healthcare costs alone. We don't charge admission, and so you are free to come and go as you please. Use the park as many times as you want during the day or month or week. And so one of the things that we really work hard on is making sure that our parks and our majority of our services are either free or very low cost. I always joke with people that one of the, the things you'll notice people say is that's my Metro Park and we love it because people really do get that emotional connection to it. For me personally, I use it as a way to connect with my daughter and unplug um, because there's no cell phones when you're out kayaking, there's no cell phones when you're stand up paddle boarding or if there is, you're bound to, <laughs> to get it wet here shortly. Um, and so it is a real great way for families to just unplug, relax, connect and enjoy some family time.